Hi everyone, a long time no see. So before I share my, my favorites with you guys, I guess I'll give you guys a little update as to what has been going on. Uh, basically, I haven't been able to film because my father is doing some changes to the apartment and the apartment above. So there's been just a lot of noise going on. Um, he is installing heaters in every apartment, including mine. And there was also a huge leak. One of my pipes completely broke in this very room. So basically, uh, half of my ceiling is completely gone because he had to figure out which pipe was causing the leak. So now he has to fix that. And there's also going to be some reconstruction with my bathroom. So there's just going to be a lot of noise, a lot of things going on. And so I really just haven't had time to film and there just hasn't been like a right time to film so I have some time to film now and um, you may hear some noise because my father is uh, doing some things with the apartment above so you may hear some shuffling and some banging that's what it is so without further ado uh, I'm going to share my main favorites with you guys so let's begin so I want to start out with the first major standout of the month of May, and it is Clean Cauldron. I was so fortunate to receive such a beautiful package from Viv. Uh, she has a YouTube channel. It is Valor Beauty. I will link it down below. Uh, but she sent me such a beautiful array of her products from her Etsy shop, and they are all phenomenal. I'm in love with everything that she sent me. Um, I have a few of my favorites here to share with you. I will be doing a more in-depth review of all of her products, but I am looking into to purchasing some more of her products since she does have some new things up in her shop. She has some lip creams now and they're very saturated in color and I definitely want to try those out. Um, so once I have like a good range of her products, I will be doing a review for you guys. So uh, her whipped body butters are amazing. She sent me several of them to try and uh, these are my favorite. Chocolate is my number one favorite scent. It's absolutely amazing. They're all super creamy, super emollient, and you can use these for all sorts of things. Uh, cuticle butter, you can use this as sort of like a massage oil because it does melt into like an oily kind of consistency. These are super hydrating. If you have a baby who has eczema or a child who has eczema or if you have eczema yourself, these are amazing. They're just, they're very lovely. Uh, this one is in the scent Coffee. Again, absolutely amazing. Actually, I think Coffee and Chocolate are both tied as far as how much I love them. They both smell absolutely amazing. And then I also have been loving Blood Orange, which Blood Orange is a really nice citrusy scent, but it also has a very creamy like scent to it as well. So it does kind of remind me of like an orange cream skull, which I love. So this is a more of a energizing scent, perfect for the spring and summer. Uh, I love wearing this in the morning and then coffee and chocolate at night. And I've been using Jasmine on my daughter. Uh, she does have patches of eczema and that has been really helping to heal her eczema. So these are just excellent. I love them. So um, these are actually her sample sizes, which I think you get a lot of product. A little bit goes a long way. So definitely number one favorite. And then I also uh, was sent the Beauty Elixir from Clean Cauldron. This is amazing. I love oils for the skin. Super hydrating. Um, it, it has a bunch of different oils in this one product and it smells kind of like carrots which I believe carrot oil is in this. When I do my review I will have all of the ingredients listed. But this has done an amazing job to hydrate my skin, especially around the nose area because my nose was getting very dry, very peely. Uh, this is just amazing. So I love that. You can also use this as a primer as well. I've also been enjoying her lip blisters. This is in the shade Purity. It's the one that I've been using the most. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. It's like a corally pink. And I did swatch it right here. I do have pigmented lips, so it doesn't show up all too much on my lips. But if you do have a lighter natural lip color, I think it will definitely show up a little bit more. But as you can see, it's super, super shiny, super hydrating. And it smells wonderful as well. 
I believe this is vanilla, yeah, vanilla flavor. To me, it smells more like maple, but I love that scent, so definitely another favorite. So I do tend to get a lot of questions as to what deodorant I use, and as of recently, I've been using this one. This is from the brand Urban Cowboy, Urban spelled H-E-R-B-A-N, which I think is kind of cute. Uh, but the scent is in Blossom, and they also have a deodorant for men as well. Um, this smells amazing. This has like a very feminine, floral kind of scent. It's not herbly whatsoever. Uh, I don't really like my deodorants to smell super herbly. I try to stay away from that. This just smells like a really nice feminine perfume. Uh, really, really pretty, really light. Uh, and it does linger on your armpits for a long time. So you really don't have to touch up all too much with this deodorant. With all natural deodorants, you do have to touch up no matter what. Uh, but I find I don't have to touch up as much. So I only really touch up once every day. And it's towards the end of the day, so it's not too bad. So really, really like this. So the next thing is from Liz Earl, and this is a eye product. Now, Lately, my allergies have been really, really bad. Um, it, it was really, really bad last month. So I needed something to kind of soothe my eyes. So uh, I was using this every morning because when I wake up in the morning, my eyes are just super puffy, super yucky, super itchy, just horrible. So this is the Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. It's basically a toner for the eyes, which I think is pretty genius. But uh, yeah, basically it cleans and revitalizes the delicate eye area. And what I love about this product is that it has witch hazel and aloe, which is two things that are amazing for the eyes. So it brightens up my eyes, it depuffs my eyes, and it just takes away all the yuckiness and helps my eyes breathe in a way. Um, so it just, it really helps if you have really bad allergies and your eyes are super red, super puffy, super itchy. This is amazing. So, love this. So, on to the next thing. This is also an eye product, but this is the Ole Henriksen Perfect Truth CC Eye Cream. And, uh, it says, Youth Defending Eye Corrector with five sources of vitamin C and ferulic acid and this is in the shade natural I would consider this like a corrector for the eyes um, it does help with dark circles I just think it's amazing and I haven't really heard all too much people talk about it so basically it looks like this uh, I guess I will take a little bit out to show you but that's what it looks like and you just basically pat this uh, around your under eye area and it just brightens up the area, corrects the area. I'm wearing it today and my eyes have never looked as bright as it has been with this. Uh, I do want to try the, I forget what it's called, but it's from First Aid Beauty. Uh, you've been hearing it all around YouTube, uh, but I believe it's like the Triple Eye Remedy or something from First Aid Beauty, and it has like a metal kind of applicator, and it basically does the same thing. I do want to try that, but this has been working wonders, so um, I don't know if I'll buy it and compare it or wait till I'm done with this one and then buy that one. I don't know. I may just have to buy it, but uh, this has been working just excellent. I guess going along with that, uh, I've been using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush and Ethereal Glow. I've been using this as a setting powder for underneath the eyes. And I've been using this uh, Echo Tools Buffing Concealer Brush and just kind of like tapping it in here and just kind of pressing it into uh, my under eyes. And again, it just helps to brighten up my eyes. I'm wearing it today. And these are just like a miracle duo if you have dark circles like I do. So that has been amazing. Since I talked about the Hourglass Ambient Blush, I guess I will talk about the blushes that I actually used as a blush. I know, I'm all over the place. But uh, I've been loving these two Sleek blushes. They're amazing. The first one is in the shade Pomegranate. And that is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Uh, you can wear this with a bronzy eye. You can wear this with a more cooler toned eye. 
it simply just works with everything. You can wear this more pigmented, as you can see in the pan, or you can wear it as just a very light flush of color. So I love this. I love this color so, so, so much. It's very unique, very pigmented, but again, you can sheer it out and it just looks very natural. So I've been loving that. And this is another blush from Sleek. This is Life's a Peach. And this is just a beautiful orange with a hint of peach. But it's more orange than anything else, I would say. Um, and uh, it just looks so pretty, especially for this time of year. And again, you don't have to wear this super pigmented. Just a nice flush on your cheeks and you're ready to go. And it just warms up the face. It looks so beautiful. If you have a tan, oh, it's going to look amazing. So... For a uh, highlighter, this is pretty much the highlighter that I used all month, uh, in the month of May. And this is the NYX Ignomatic Illuminator. And it looks like that. It's just like a light pinky peachy kind of color with uh, some gold shimmer. And it's just, it's so pretty. So pretty. So here it is there. It's very light. But as you can see, it has this beautiful, beautiful sheen. So I love that. Especially with a warmer blush, it just pairs so nicely. So for lips, I have to mention my Silk Naturals lip products. I did a whole video uh, with lip swatches. So I will leave a link to that video down below. But I can't really pinpoint one favorite, one specific favorite. Just all of them have been my favorite. I've been just like interchanging um, my lip color uh, and just basically just using my Silk Natural lipsticks. So, um, I did pair them with lip glosses though, which are in my May favorites. And the first one, I did get this from Viv. This is from the brand Revolution Organics and the packaging is super cute. I had to keep the packaging and I do keep my lip gloss in this tube. Uh, but it looks like this. It's a beautiful, beautiful raspberry shade, and I've just been basically pairing all of, like, my warmer lip colors with this lip gloss. And this is in the shade Truth. It's so pretty. It's like a beautiful jelly kind of lip gloss. It is kind of sheer, but it does have color to it. So pretty. And I always get asked what I'm wearing every time I wear this lip gloss, so there's just something about it that just makes your lips look so pretty. And then this next lip gloss is from Echo Bella. I got this from Emily from Lisette's Beauty. Love her. Uh, she sent me this and this is in the shade Pleasure and I like wearing this with either my cool tone lipsticks or my neutral lipsticks. And I have more neutral lipsticks than cool tone lipsticks. But this is beautiful and what I love about it is yes it is purple but it's super wearable. And it just makes your lips look super plumpy and healthy. It's just, it's really, really pretty. This is actually my first Echo Bella lip gloss. And it's so pretty. And it lasts for a very long time as well. So there it is right there. So the next favorite, everybody and their mother has been talking about this. But uh, I recently got this. I got this actually on Mother's Day. My mom uh, got this for me. And it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I've just been using this pretty much every day. I'm wearing it today. I just can't get enough of it. And I thought that uh, I would find this palette kind of boring. That's why I never purchased it myself. But I'm so glad my mom got this for me because it is such an amazing palette. I never get bored of it. You can do so many looks with this. It has so many colors, so many depths of browns. Um, you have some matte shades. You have some fun shades as well. There's just so much that you can do with this one palette. So it's amazing. It smells amazing. Love it. And the last favorite is from Butter London. Butter London now has a makeup line. And this is the first product I've tried from Butter London. And this is a mascara. Do you not see the intensity of this color? It's beautiful. Uh, but it is their Wink Color Mascara in the shade Chav. And this is limited edition. And it's this beautiful like pale blue almost teal 
it's just it's beautiful it's kind of like a mint green I guess you can say but I do uh, have a picture so I will leave it somewhere around here of me wearing this I did Instagram a pic of me wearing this um, and it's just beautiful it really stands out sometimes with color mascaras especially if you have dark lashes they just don't even show up on your lashes uh, the brush isn't all that amazing it's just your standard kind of like bristle brush but the color is amazing so um, it does give you some uh, volume to your lashes so it's not all that bad but the color is amazing and they have several different colors I want to get the yellow one as well um, the yellow and this one is limited edition uh, they have a beautiful like indigo color which I want to get as well so I think I have like an addiction with these these are amazing so those are my favorites uh, actually I want to share some non favorites with you guys I have two non favorites I don't know when I'll be able to film again and these are like wickedly bad that I want to share them with you guys so hold on one second okay so these are like crap products bad like products I completely regret purchasing um, the first one is from Physicians Formula and this is the youthful wear spotless foundation and I got mine in the shade medium it has a SPF of 15 uh, I can do like a whole video on this it's absolutely crap uh, it has this I don't know what you call it this dropper applicator which I thought oh that's kind of cool not really uh, the formula of this is what really just turns me off because it just kind of slides on your face because this product I believe is packed like packed with silicone um, I'm not like a huge hater of silicone I don't mind it but I feel like this just has too much of it and so it just slides off of my face uh, everything shows up all of my imperfections if I have big pores it will show up if I have pimples it will show up scarring anything any imperfections it's gonna show up on your face uh, it doesn't blend well that's the problem with this like I said I can do a whole other video on this but all I have to say at this moment is please don't ever purchase this it's horrible um, again, I don't know when I'll be able to film again, so I just wanted to kind of give you that warning. No, do not purchase that. It's horrible. And then the last one, which may be a shock to some people, the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. Naturally Disgusting Palette is what I should call it. Um, I mean, the colors are beautiful, but they are so, 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 so chalky. They remind me of drugstore shadows. Um, they just don't really have any pigmentation to them. Um, you know, when you blend them, you'll just completely blend them away. So you really have to do very limited blending. Um, so you really just have to work with these shadows so much that they're just absolutely not worth it. Uh, and like I said, all your looks tend to look the same with these colors. Um, you know, I thought it would be nice because there's some warmer colors, some cool tone colors. But the shadows are just no bueno. So, and that's what I have to say about that. Not, it's just not worth it. The packaging is beautiful. You know, looking at it, it's beautiful. But... Every time I do an eye look with this, I'm just not impressed, and I'm not happy. So, um, I, I definitely would not repurchase this. Uh, I was planning on sending this back, but uh, I really wanted to do like a full review on this. Don't know if I still will, but it just, it sucks, majorly. So anyways, those are all of my favorites and my major fails. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.